Fifine has sent me over their Ampli game A8 Condensate the microphone and in this video we will do a full breakdown of it and want to review that microphone. I've used it now for half a year and in this video we will talk about the specifications, my use cases and why this is an insane price cheap condensate the microphone for the daily use. With that said, thank you everybody for being here again. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. Here we are with the microphone. We can see it already here. I have unboxed it. I will definitely show you that in parallel while talking about some facts. The microphone was delivered with a manual. For sure, the microphone itself, the pop filter, a 2 meter USB Type-C cable and the connector to assemble it to an external arm. As this is quite a cheap microphone with 60 bucks for my daily use and the tournament cast, I was a little bit, mm, can that work as good as my Rode? The previous one I used was this Rode USB and it costs like $250, so it is three, four, five times the price of this device. I was a little bit curious if that device can handle it and it definitely can. The microphone gets delivered with some additional things, such as the stand, which you already can see here, really solid one. And if you are sometimes raging, it stands straight there, so no further usage needed. And we got additionally, for sure, you already can see it here, my voice is getting a little bit less good, the pop filter, that definitely helps with the quality. For example, when I'm getting super excited at the tournament cast, we will come back to that later. Furthermore, we got the shock mount. Uh, if I'm getting really angry and, for example, pushing the table, this is definitely less hurting the audio quality, which is very nice. It is connected via USB Type-C. We can see that there down below. And it has a mute button, which we can see here straight on the top. And for sure, it shows the red color when it is muted. So that is definitely very nice. If you have to mute yourself as a streamer really quickly, just press the button. And you couldn't hear that for sure, uh, which is very nice in my personal opinion. On the back position, we got another condensator button. So they are really sensitive. We can change here the colors, which is really cool. And I definitely like that. But I definitely like the waveform if it is a little bit changing the color, kind of chilled while streaming or playing some new state mobile. And here we are with that setting. And also it can be turned off completely. That was definitely one improvement comparing it to the previous one, which I did not use, but some others did do some great reviews about it. Um, and now we can disable the color if you don't like it. Some further great features are definitely the volume control on the back position as well as the headphone jack on the bottom where you can definitely connect your headphone and can directly hear the sound. So right now here we are at the streaming software I'm using OBS and for sure I've done some filtering and I've used the same filtering as in the past for the Rode and honestly for me the device sounds a little bit better. What are your thoughts on it? You have now heard for around half a year this microphone. Please write it down below in the comment section if you can hear the difference. When I Applied it the first time, I did not hear any difference in between. And then afterwards, while we were streaming, okay, it sounds even a little bit better. I'm not sure if that is because I've used the Rode one already quite a long time, or if it's just because this microphone is a little bit better. Checking those filters, I've just uh, applied some noise uh, filtering here, nothing too special. And this is everything which is applied. So this is almost the raw sound of the microphone, which you can hear here. And this is very nice and I've applied those filters that you don't hear that loud the background noises and that should be pretty good. If you have some further settings for me, please let me know it down below in the comment section. The microphone was delivered in this box and if we open it and we can see it straight at the unboxing, very clean box where everything fits perfect inside and this is definitely nice to protect the microphone while transportation. And as this is a USB microphone, it was assembled in a few seconds only. Just plug it in and play and you're already able to record. Now that we have had a look at the technical details, what does this sound look like in reality? I've used it at the previous tournament at New State Mobile, where I commented the tournament. So it is really important to have a good voice quality. So let me show you some of the recordings and highlights of the tournament where I definitely got super excited and a little bit louder and still in my personal opinion the sound is great. 
From Nike Gaming, Avalon waiting here, needed to reload, gets the first, gets the double kill, nice Avalon. And this is Dario in Escalona now, shooting at Akuma, Escalona with another elimination, great shot there out of midair, and Pazu in a huge backstep position, but he's waiting. Oh, look at this, the enemy is under the wear, and now he starts to shoot, gets the first, gets the second, Pazu, can he get the triple, he can't see the last one, can he get him, he gets him, triple kill from Pazu, Osai, knocked down, so it's only one guy, it's Sunrise, uh, this rise, sorry, and he gets both, come on, someone needs to punish them, that they are that open, nice shots here from Ian, Rian Mater, and this is a huge flank coming in from Roy. Sees the first, sees Brescia, knocks him down. It's only Pazu now in the one versus three situation. Can Pazu clutch it? He's again the last man standing. And no, it's Roy with an insane flank. And look, they are waiting here. Ability Gaming, Migao finds the first with the Mutant. Can he find another one? That's another one, Migao. International team to take over their position. Oh, nice shots. Two players got respawned, this is fast, knocked down, Ozai feeling, and another one being here, the gap hold from Fork, that was insane, he's getting pushed now, he gets another one, double kill, can he get the triple kill, no he can't, feeling, with the secure, but can he also clutch it, it's a one versus one situation, coming from the three versus three, and feeling gets it, GG well played. Slider is there, Danny gets the knockdown, Slider trades Danny. oh that was nearly not a trade he sees slider molotov the grenade is counter molotov drops too early and this is oh niku makes the enemy low hp can't knock him the enemy plays it really good and that's the end slider here is a double or even triple kill oh that nade can be good there is a huge opening in the house the nade goes in and that's a knockdown and a lot of further damage they're pushing in he gets another one goosey boy with the double kill Everest is there, and the next nade from Hong did secure a kill and knock down the other one while. And now Dunks Gaming loses the next one. Nesquik pushing over with a grenade. That is the end. Crate. Oh, man, Ken getting spotted by Decent. Getting shot. That's the end. Decent with the first. Sees another one. That's the second. Can he do the triple kill? And he's fully committing to the fight. The enemy gets over the ridge line with the good aim. The triple kill. Decent. Breaking of the window was hearable for the enemy. And Shaka getting knocked. And instant finished. And that means it's only Ahmad. Nice aim from the enemy. Nest kick with the double kill. If you don't get some high ground, you climb up. Some solar panels. And that's a kill secure. The enemy is the knockdown. Oh, they, they, they tried to find him. They couldn't find him. He's causing further damage from the other angle. Miguel finds the first. Finds another one. Ooh, that was expensive. Further nades, it's fallen, it's Henrix. They hold it tight, but that's the end, the nade. And the Amani's at the edge, don't go for the respawn. Amani sees the enemy soon, sees him, and he goes for the double. Gets the first, oh, he turns to the right side too early. Oh, sees that guy, the teammate, no, he finds the kill. Kill number nine, that's 18 in total. They see Smurf, that is the end. Thirsty with another kill, that's 13 kills. And he sees another one, look at this high ground advantage, and he finds even another one. That's Akuma knocked, sleep now in a one versus two, this is it, or no, he gets knocked, Jonas. Hold the team in the game, one versus two situation for Jonas now, he's getting pushed by Meppel, and that's it, Red Sun, GG, wins the round with 19 kills. So to sum it up a little bit, this microphone is a great one for the daily use and for low budget users and I definitely would prefer that over my previous Rode and this 60 bucks are definitely better invested than the 250 from the Rode before. With the easy assemble you can directly start after purchasing and unboxing it which is very easy for you to use. If you want to know some further details, just check out the first link in the video description. The second link forwards you to AliExpress where you can directly purchase it right now for the price of 57 bucks 69 With an additional code which you also find in the description, it is fifine 530 you can save up 3 euro or 3 dollar as a discount. So I hope you liked this review of the microphone. It was the first of a kind, but more to come in the future. If you have any suggestions, please write it down below in the comment section. And for sure, 
Feel free to share your impressions with this microphone after watching this video. And if you've used it by yourself, definitely write down your review down below in the comment section. Thank you guys and see you again very soon.